shouldn't surprise anyone to hear that three quarters of us turn to the internet first for information about health. We're looking up symptoms and conditions and researching prevention and treatments. It makes sense. And we're in the middle of a global pandemic. But there can be a pretty big gap between the time you search for information and when you take action on the information you receive. To help close that gap, we're working with teams in Search and YouTube to help improve existing products. And at Google Health, we're developing online tools to empower you to take control of your health. As a doctor, I took care of patients for nearly 20 years, and I know this for sure. Informed and engaged patients have better health outcomes. Staying healthy and being informed is an ongoing journey. You typically start researching the internet and discovering results, and then you evaluate the information and make decisions. And finally, you're left to take action. Everyone's path is different. That's why we're focused on programs and products to support your individual journey. A few of my colleagues will join me now to show you how to navigate and control your healthcare journey. Let's start with search. Here's Todd. One way we're empowering people along their health journey is by creating richer experiences across Google with clinically validated tools. For example, when people use Google search to find information on certain conditions, we're beginning to surface self-assessments based on questionnaires commonly used by care providers to evaluate patients at risk for certain conditions. These assessments are not diagnostic, but they can serve as a way for people to learn more about a condition and any next steps. They're easy to find and easy to use. Let me show you how it works. When searching for COVID-19, you'll see a curated panel of information. If you scroll down, you will see, take a self-assessment. As COVID-19 spread, we were able to make available this CDC self-assessment that helped people understand their symptoms and advice on what they could do next. Since May of last year, the COVID-19 self-assessment has been completed more than 25 million times. We've also launched self-assessments for mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, PTSD, and postpartum depression, so people can better understand their risk and get connected to resources in collaboration with authoritative partners. Answers are private and secure. Google does not collect or share your private information from the self-assessment. When it comes to making decisions about seeking help, there's often a big gap between people first looking for information and seeking care. This is especially true for mental health conditions. Tools like this can empower consumers and help bridge that gap. And now I pass it over to my colleague, Divya, who is going to tell you more about how Google is helping with the next step of the health journey. Thanks, Todd. We know that healthcare is not one size fits all, that people's needs are highly individual. The search for care is inherently unique as everyone considers different factors to decide what's right for them or their loved ones. This is an area where we can help as a company that's centered around organizing information and making it useful. In the US, insurance coverage is one of the most important considerations in choosing healthcare providers. For instance, is the urgent care down the road in your network? In both search and maps, we're beginning to show new information about the insurance a doctor accepts, including Medicare. Since the start of the pandemic, healthcare is increasingly moving online. We have been helping people connect to care by responding to evolving information needs. Search interest in telehealth was up by 20 fold as shelter in place orders were made across the country. How do you know which doctors are doing virtual visits? We've made it easier to find telehealth providers in search, and we've given the doctors the ability to update their business profiles to reflect their virtual care options. When it's time to prepare for your in-person or virtual visit, we know it's important to plan ahead. Research shows that you'll get more out of your visit and that it can lead to better mental and physical outcomes. Being prepared often means knowing what questions to ask. So, Working with the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, we have developed a private and secure online tool that helps you create a checklist of questions. However, despite all of this, we also know that today not everyone has equal access to healthcare. Jacqueline, my colleague, who's also a practicing cardiologist, 
joins us now to share the work we are doing to improve access to useful health information for everyone. Thanks, Divya. When you think about health equity, what comes to mind first? Access to quality medical care? That's absolutely important. But socioeconomic factors like your zip code, education level, and income, they often have more to do with it. Those factors, along with your general environment, impact 80 to 90% of all health outcomes. I see this firsthand as a cardiologist who takes care of Medicare patients and the uninsured. Google can play an important role in helping to support health equity in three ways. First, we can make information accessible, understandable, and actionable for people of all health literacy levels. Next, when you have a health question, we want you to be able to find relatable information from trustworthy authoritative sources on search, YouTube, and other Google touch points. Third, we're ensuring that our features are built for everyone, regardless of your insurance, zip code, or education. Access to information can and should be the great equalizer. Google, through its products and services, can play an important role in supporting health equity. Thank you, Jacqueline, Divya, and Todd, for showing us what the teams are working on. It's clear that health is more than just healthcare. It's a result of what happens between our doctor's appointments. Our vision at Google is to support billions of healthier people and to build an ecosystem of trusted information that meets everyone's needs across the globe. We're excited about what's ahead, and we hope you are too.